Hey guys, Alan Hain here, the Lawn Care Nut with another lawn care tip. Now another question that I get quite often is, how tall do I mow my lawn or how high should I mow it? And you know, it's a little bit different depending on the year, so I'm gonna go through it now. Now the first thing to realize is I'm in the north. I'm up in northwest Indiana. So the most common turf types that I'm gonna see in my area, and this will be good through most of the Midwest and even up through the east. Mostly what I see is Kentucky bluegrass, perennial ryegrass, and turf type tall fescue. So perennial rye and bluegrass can be mowed at the same height. Turf type tall fescue is a little different. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you those as we go through this video. So starting out in the spring, right after the snow's gone, the lawn's probably got a lot of crap on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and bag. But I'm also gonna go ahead and mow just a little bit lower, just to go ahead and clean out any dead stuff that's there, any winter kill, any leaves that have made their way up and on. I just wanna get rid of that stuff, and also cutting a little bit lower is gonna stimulate some growth here in the spring. From there and through the rest of the spring, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to three and a half inches, maybe even 3.75 inches on my turf type tall fescue. Reason being is I wanna go ahead and get a lot of leaf surface available to the sunlight because the lawn is coming out of dormancy and the more sunlight, the more photosynthesis can occur and the better growth we can get in our spring push. Now when I get to summer, I always irrigate, so my lawn stays fairly vigorous, but it doesn't grow like it did in the spring. So just to give it a little break from the heat, I'm gonna cut a little bit taller. My turf type tall fescue is gonna be at four inches all summer long. Longer grass blades will shade the root zone help you retain moisture and just keep things from heating up too much. Now when we get into fall, I really want to stimulate root growth, so I don't want to cut too much off the top, but I also do want to kind of force the lawn to push more roots. And by doing that, I'm going to cut just a little bit lower. So I'm going to cut it three and a half inches all fall. I'm also going to go ahead and start using my bag again probably just because of the leaves and crap that get in there. But if I can mulch, I still do. Now when we get to the very last cut of the year, this has gotta be sometime right before the first frost or definitely right after. When the lawn has stopped growing, I'm gonna go back down to a pretty low level and my turf type tall fescue, I'm gonna mow at three inches. This is just to keep the lawn from being too long. It'll help cut down on some of the winter kill that you're gonna get, things like that. And this just so happens to be the same height that I'm gonna use for my very first cutting next year. So there you go, there's how tall and how high I mow my lawn all year. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Subscribe to the channel, got lots of great lawn care tips here, and I will see you in the lawn.